Hello, my name is Imam. I'm going to talk about Kubuntu operating system. And Kubuntu uses KDE desktop environment. So I will start off with KDE desktop environment. If you want to know more about KDE desktop environment, you can go www.kde.org. Here, the, here is the official website of KDE desktop environment. As I said before, Kubuntu, which is a Linux based operating system derived from Ubuntu, and Kubuntu uses KDE as its default desktop environment. So, yeah, KDE is really nice, cool looking desktop environment, desktop shell. It has got this default glassy theme, desktop theme, which looks really nice, I guess. Yeah, it's really nice. I have customized here and there a little bit with KDE desktop environment. It's mostly the same. What I like about KDE desktop environment is my opinion, personal opinion. I think KDE desktop is is as fancy and as customizable as other desktop environments such as windows or mac i think it's even cooler than other desktop environments available for the users to try out so the first thing you will notice the first thing you can do with um you will need for KDE for launching any application is the kick off. Kick off is like a start menu of KDE. Here you can find all your applications that you can run. There are the there are different sections like you have favorites. Under favorites you have all your favorites applications. Then you have applications. You don't have to click, you just move ho over your mouse over to the icon and it will switch over. Under applications, you have all your applications categorized into different sections. Then under computer, you have your different places, folders, and also there are like system settings and mount discover, which is kind of like software center. And run command. I will talk about this later. Anyway, recently used, under recently used, you'll have your recently used applications and files, as the name suggests. And under leave, you have shutdown, restart, things like that, logout, lock switch user. The KDE desktop, everything is widgets, plasma widgets. They call it plasma. Uh, all the widgets and everything are plasma widgets like this panel consisting of different plasma widgets and this note taker widget is also a plasma widget if you move your mouse over to any widget it will give you handles this handle a special bar where you can find like the size option this size the widget and you can also rotate any widget but it's not a good idea I think it distorts a bit it's and here you can find the widgets a specific setting and also you can close the widget easily and if you just drag the bar you can also move the widget yeah this is uh, with a weather widget and this is a folder widget it shows your folder any specific folder and the contents of it and this is the default panel where you can find your can run running applications taskbar and this is kind of like you have different desktops you can use and you have this system tray icons for different system settings like battery wi-fi volume control and clipboard is like a your clipboard manager you can uh, manage your copy 
you can manage your like if you copy any contents it will come into here and you can select which one you want to I'll show that later this is show desktop and this is your clock if you click it will show up this with a nice calendar and all the important dates so if you want to customize your panel you have to click on this here panel toolbox and it will show up this I can move your panel to any edge Screen now you said you can change its height by just clicking and dragging and also you can move it to any other like I said before I yeah I bring it down to like yeah yeah before so if you want to add any new widget like this is the task manager widget and this is the kick off application launcher widget you can close it can this is the desktop widget you can change pager and this is the clock widget you can add new widgets for example if I click on this it will give me this widget list I can search for any specific widget in the box or I can just scroll see and what's available and also you can get new widgets from the internet plasma widgets and it will give you this window where you can find all the widgets uh, available online for you to download and install and you can see them by different rating and things like that so yeah you can have more settings under more settings you can remove this panel lock widgets and mix and things like that you can customize all the things about this panel adding widgets as simple as just double clicking on a widget I double click the, the binary clock now here is the widget I can position it by just dragging the widget wherever I want it to be or even I can close it remove it by just this clock here now so if you on the desktop if you want to add any widgets you can also do the same from here as well as you just by just right clicking on the desktop and add widgets and it should bring up the same this widgets list and you just drag any widgets onto the desktop and here you go you have the widget and a lock clock and you can track it and you can resize it as as per your preference and you can close it okay so kick off menu so here you, is your all favorite applications if you want to make any applications if under put any application under favorites you can just pick the application for example I want to make this as my favorite application I right click on it and add to favorites now I have that application under favorites list you can also remove and drag and position it if you want to remove from favorites short alphabetically yeah okay so here you go you have the KDE default desktop environment so under computer you have a run command which is also part of KDE this run command you can find for any application or any location you can search for if you go to help it gives you what you can do with this run command 
for example I can search for an application for example I can launch this application from run command just type the name and it will give you the things and just click you can launch the run command by pressing together F and alter and F2 keyboard keys and it will show up the run command you can position the run dialog box run box by just dragging it and you can do simple calculations as well for example 2 plus 6 is 8 or find any widgets like clock analog clock and drag it and here you go you have the widget any you can go to any folder like your home folder click and it will open your home folder you can find any hard drive partition for example Linux which is one of my hard drive partition Linux nice there you go so KDE has different desktops to organize your applications. You can find about this desktop setting. More information about this desktop set. If you go system settings and workspace behavior, I guess now. Workspace behavior, virtual desktops. Now I have four desktops. What do I mean by desktops? These desktops, like in the current desktops, I have this window. If I pick this desktop, I can have other windows. For example, this one and this one. Now if I switch click on the last now I have this window. On this desktop I have these two windows. So desktops let you easily organize your windows. Different desktops, different windows. And you can see the window list here as well. Now I have four desktops. You can also name your desktops if you want to. Like I have this naming. Okay. Now this is the desktop. One cool thing about the folder widget. If I close this widget now, let's add that folder widget. Add widgets. I type folder and drag it to the desktop now I have this folder widgets it shows the folders now you can easily dig into any folder widgets by clicking on this up arrow and it will show what's inside you can just mouse move your mouse over to any folder and it keeps its content and you can easily open any file in that way if i go desktop for example development c function click and it opens that file without even opening a file manager isn't it cool okay that's what i like about this folder widget you can play around with this the settings of this folder widgets as well like i want to have desktop folder show the desktop folder in folder widgets and icon arrangement aligned in grid 
okay you can resize the folder region if you want to If you right click on the desktop, you have default desktop settings where you can find settings, for example, desktop background and desktop layout. The default desktop layout on the desktop, you only have widgets, nothing else. And you can also have folder layout where you don't have, you have widgets as well as traditional desktop where with the icons and folders now I again go back to folder settings now I change it to pack default desktop only desktop now consisting with only consisting of widgets here okay here you go you have this your caddy e desktop you can easily clean up this by you recently used files or applications by right clicking clear clear In the next video, I will talk more about Kuban to desktop. Thank you for watching.